preparation of trial balance. Now, trial balance can be prepared by three methods. First one being totals method. Now, students, as the name suggests, in totals method, the total of the debit and the credit of side of each account is shown. That is, trial balance, the format will appear like this. debit side total, debit total and credit total. Like cash, cash account, the debit side total is 80,000 and the credit side total is 30,000. So both the totals are shown. We know that every transaction has two effects that is the debit and the credit. So in some accounts it is recorded on the debit side, in others it is recorded on the credit side. So both the sides total will be shown, the debit total and the credit total. Let us say capital, capital has no entry on the debit side assumingly. So debit side no entries here but on credit side we have 5 lakh. So show 5 lakh. Similarly put for all the accounts at the end the total should match. The tallying of this total actually shows that the debit aspects have been matched by their credit aspects that makes uh, that helps us to make an assumption that all the entries have been put in correctly although again reiterating that it is not a conclusive proof. So students under total methods in a trial balance for every account the total of the debit side and the total of the credit side both are shown. Again repeating the total of the debit side and the total of the credit side for each account is shown and at last both the total should tally out. If they do not tally out that means there is some error and you need to rectify that error. Coming to the second method. The second method is balances method. Now students, there is a very major limitation of totals method that we had done in the previous case. Totals method is not used practically because it does not help in the preparation of final accounts. So balances method is most widely used method most used method. It is used to prepare trial balance as it presents only the balances, it presents only the balances and is used for preparation of final accounts directly without any changes. It can be directly used to prepare final accounts. So in this case, only the balances are shown. We do not show debit and the credit totals. Rather, we show the debit or the credit balances as the accounts will show. So in this case, trial balance appears like this. It will be debit balances and credit balance. Let us say cash account. Cash account has a debit balance of 50,000. So we will write 50,000 here. Now this debit balance would be the same balance as we would have calculated while preparing the ledger accounts. You must have prepared the ledger account of cash and in that the final balance that you must have calculated would be 50,000 rupees. So since if it is debit balance, it would appear on the debit side. In capital, for example, the balance is appearing on the credit side. That is we have a credit balance. Since we have a credit balance, it will be shown in the credit balances column. We are not showing the totals of debit and credit side. We are showing only the balances. Again, 
will put in n number of accounts whatever are there in the ledger and finally the total of the debit balances should match the credit balances if this total does not tally out that means there is some error in the accounts which you need to rectify students there is a third method also which is kind of mix of these two methods now the third method is totals come balances method it is actually a combination of both of these methods that is the totals method and the balances method in this case trial balance has four columns first two columns for debit and debit totals and credit totals and next two columns for debit balance and credit balance so that means we are showing both the totals and the balances let us have a look at its format the format appears like this trial balance remember there is heading written under it so we will have four columns for totals and balances this would be account heading debit total credit total debit balance and credit balance at the top you'll write trial balance of name as on date now let us have an example like cash account let us say you have prepared cash account and on the debit side cash account shows a total of 150000 the credit total is 50000 so subtracting these two there is a debit balance so on debit side that is under debit balance column an amount of rupees 1 lakh will appear then creditors there is no entry on the debit side so there is no debit total credit total is assumingly it is 25000 so since the credit total is higher the credit balance would be 25000 here let us take another example ram a customer has a debit total of 2 lakh and a credit total of 2 lakh 30000 now in this case the credit total is higher so we will have a credit balance of 30000 now once you have put in all the accounts here and all the balances here we will find the totals remember the totals of these two accounts will tally and the totals of these two columns will tally that is the debit total and the credit total would be equal and the total of debit balances and the credit balance would be, balances would be equal so students it is very clear from this illustration that this third method that is totals come balances method is actually a mixture of previous two methods that is totals method in which only the totals are shown and the balances method in which only the balances are shown but remember that the most widely used method is the balances method